Hey guys, it's me David and welcome back to another video. Today we will be reviewing every single one of the Lego Superhero Marvel sets from the January 2021 wave. So that means I have all three mech armor sets and three of the four regular sets. Now all of these were provided by Lego for this review, so I really appreciate to that uh, to them for providing these. Now the reason why I say three of four regular sets is there's actually one more regular set of the January 2021 wave. And it's funny enough, Lego mentions it in the back of the instruction booklet and even says launching in March, which is the Spider-Man like cave layer set. Uh, I think a lot of people are actually really interested in that set particular because you're getting some new Spider-Man minifigures and it looks really interesting. It's kind of like an Iron Man type of uh, ca cave or layer as well. So I know a lot of people are very interested to get their hands on that. I don't know if I'm gonna get that set for a review. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sets that we do have in front of us right now. So starting with the Captain America mech armor set, then we have the Thor mech armor set, then we have the Miles Morales mech armor. Moving on to the Sandman Showdown set, which is a four plus junior set. Then we have the Ghost Rider versus Carnage Spider-Man set. And then we have the Monster Truck and Mysterio Spider-Man set. So this is a $40 set. This is 20, this is 10 and all three mech armors are also $10. So we're gonna review these one by one and then come to the conclusion of like which ones are like maybe the best. Um, surprisingly, this wave is pretty cheap, so it's not actually that expensive to get all the sets that you guys see in front of me right now. Uh, but I would actually pick particular sets and I only really like one of the three play sets, so we're definitely gonna dive into that towards the end. But let's go ahead and start looking at the mech armors. I think a lot of you are interested in these since they launched with the previous version with like Iron Man and the others. Um, this is the second wave of mech armors, I believe. So let's go ahead and take a look at Captain America first. So Captain America, I gotta say, I really like this mech armor. It's not my favorite of the three from this wave, but I really enjoy that printed shield. The minifigure in particular looks great. It's a really cheap way, $10, to get a Captain America minifigure. Like I said, not my favorite mech, but it is really good and an easy way to get Captain America. Moving on to the Thor mech armor set. I really like this one. This is actually my favorite of the three. Um, and I thought I was gonna like the Miles Morales one more, but I gotta say the Thor just looks really good. It's, it's a little more bulky, which you may or may not like. I do really enjoy the minifigure you get with it. Unfortunately, Thor doesn't come with a cape. That's a little disappointing, but regardless, the Thor you get is fantastic looking. It's got a dual-sided head. I love it. The actual mech armor looks great. It's the only one that actually comes with stickers, so that may or may not be a uh, kind of a deal breaker for you. I like this one the most. I think it's really cool looking. If I had to choose one out of the three, it would actually be this one. Now onto the last one, which I think is probably one of the most anticipated ones, which is the Miles Morales mech armor. Now, Miles Morales obviously just got its own big video game released on not just PlayStation 4, but PlayStation 5. So those of you lucky to have a PlayStation 5, I'm sure you've been enjoying the game. It's gotten great reviews. A lot of people love the game. And so having Miles Morales, the, uh, the Lego minifigure available in a $10 set is definitely very appealing if you're a fan of that character. I myself loved him in the uh, Spider-Verse movie so seeing the actual minifigure in this really cheap 9.99 mech armor set is great gotta say though the mech armor is not my favorite set in the world it's it's okay it, it's a little bit thinner and you don't get as many pieces compared to the other two compared to like captain america and thor so that's my only downside however the miles morales minifigure you get is fantastic the printing's great no complaints there. So if you just want Miles Morales, this is definitely an easy way to get him. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move to the regular set, starting with the four plus junior set with the Sandman Showdown. So look, yeah, it's a four plus junior set. I know a lot of you out there are definitely above the age of four years old, but this is a great way to get this new Spider-Man minifigure with a arm printing. All of the Spider-Mans from these sets have arm printing, but this is the cheapest, $9.99. So that's a really easy way to get that minifigure. And then I gotta say, the Sandman figure looks cool. I really like that molded piece. It might be a little extra for some of you guys. Um, it is bringing back the angry clone face, which you know I think is a little funny, but yeah, it's an overused face. So both minifigures are great in this set. The vehicle, nothing to write home about. It's a junior set. And the, the little playability feature of throwing the sand, you know, that's whatever. Look, if you're above the age of four, you're only looking at this set if you really just want the minifigures. 
Moving on to the Ghost Rider versus Carnage set. So let's go ahead and look at Ghost Rider. Very cool minifigure. That uh, flame on top of his head is indeed molded into the head, which is unique. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that, not going to lie. Moving on to Carnage. This is a great looking minifigure. It has that unique piece on the back of it to add its... Uh, tentacle pieces, I suppose. So really good looking minifigure, no complaints there. And then again, you get that Spider-Man figure. So honestly, if you really want Spider-Man and you want more value for your money and you're not interested in Sandman, the Ghost Rider set coming at $20 is a really good deal because you're getting three great minifigures plus a pretty solid build. I gotta say, the actual Ghost Rider, um, I don't know exactly what it is. It looks to be based off like a Dodge Charger of some sort, but it looks really good. You can fit Ghost Rider in there. You can uh, take these flames on and off. So if you wanna make it more of like a regular looking vehicle, you can absolutely do that, which I think is a nice little option. It's kind of strange for a set like this, but it is a good option. So best value absolutely goes to the Ghost Rider set. Um, that Spider-Man figure is great. You get the little uh, little whips uh, that can like shoot off the hands as well. Uh, playability in this set, you know, you do have the stud shooters on the car, and that's really about it. I really feel like you're buying this set for the minifigures. All right, and to the last set, which is the Monster Truck uh, versus Mysterio. You know, this is a pretty good set. I could see a younger child enjoying this me particularly I, i'm not a huge fan of this i i just don't like the monster truck that much i actually don't like it's that that much that i i didn't even include all the stickers on it i just thought it was way too extra with the spider-man logo on it so i took the st uh, took the uh spider-man logo stickers off of it and i didn't even include the rims the red spider-man sticker rims i took those off too without that the monster truck, in my opinion, looks way better. Of course, you know, build it how you want to, build it as you see in the set. But for me, I skipped out on some of the stickers. I just thought it was way too much in this set. Now, in terms of the actual figures, you're getting a Doc Ock, which I actually really like. I'm not a huge fan of how ridiculously big his arms are. You know, they're brick built, which is nice. Um, they're very, you know, poseable, and you can actually use the arms to stand them up, which I think is really cool. So, Doc Ock is actually a pretty good minifigure. I do like him. Mysterio's great. My my biggest complaint with him is the head. It's just a light bluish gray head under there. There's no face. I wish there's a face that came in this head. Like, come on, how hard is that? Um, but the molded piece, you know, the I guess the 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 fog, the green fog, I guess, that he stands up on and floats through. Uh, that's pretty cool. I do like it, actually. It, you know, some people don't really like this stuff because it, it kind of gets into non-Lego territory. As for the two uh, drones that you get for Mysterio, obviously, they're, like, projecting his abilities and stuff like that that we kind of saw from Spider-Man Far From Home. Drones look accurate. They're very nice. They have some stud launchers on them. I really like the way they look. They do have some stickers, but they're not bad. They're really not bad. You also get Gwen, or Spider Gwen, I should say. Great looking minifigure. Uh, she also comes with a purple skateboard, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, you get the same Spider-Man that you get from the other two sets. Uh, it's the exact same one. There's no difference in this $40 set. So you are getting four minifigures for $40, which is actually a pretty solid deal. Um, you know... I guess the piece count's almost there, but you know, it's an okay set. Look, if you're if you're into Doc Ock and Mysterio, I think you're gonna like this set. I particularly would not get the monster truck set if you like the monster truck. I would get it more for like the actual minifigures and such. The set itself is okay. Moving on to the actual monster truck. Like I said, I did not include all the stickers. There is a net launcher, which is Okay, it's it works okay. All right, that that's what I'm gonna say about that. You can put a minifigure in the front. Just one can't even fit both Gwen and Spider-Man. Uh, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of an over, oversight. You should be able to fit both minifigures in a, in a vehicle of this size. You know, I guess it's not a big deal. But come on, how hard is it to just modify that? So yeah, the monster truck set. It's okay. All right, so there you go. There's my thoughts on all of these sets. Gotta say, they're all very reasonably priced. There's nothing to complain about there. You're getting a lot for your money, especially in these sets over here. You know, the the mech sets, you know, you need a value. Do you like the mech armors? If you do, then I think you will enjoy them. I personally do like the mech armors. It's very fun to pose them. They're very enjoyable. My favorite by far is the Thor mech armor. I just think it looks the coolest. It's a little bit more bulky. Feels a little more mech-like. 
The best minifigure out of the mech armors is by far Miles Morales. So these two sets are by far my, my picks. Poor Captain America. This is still a great mech armor set. It's just, I, I've gotten so many Captain America minifigures over the years. While this one is uh, a little bit different, a little bit more unique, I do like it. It's not like my, my favorite Captain America I've ever gotten. Um, so, you know, it's a good set, but I would prefer the Thor set. And for just the sore reason to get the minifigure, it would be Miles Morales. Absolutely. As for the sets here, look, if you're choosing between the three that's available in January, I would absolutely go with the Ghost Rider set. I feel like this is by far the best value. You're getting three great minifigures. It's an easy way to get that Spider-Man with the arm printing. The actual build is nice. It looks good. It's somewhat minifigure scale. I think that's like the sweet spot is the Ghost Rider set. Uh, I would... You know, the junior set's okay. I would only get this if you're really interested in that Sandman figure. If not, step up, spend the extra $10, get the Ghost Rider set. As for the Monster Truck set, it's okay. I don't really like the Monster Truck, if I'm being honest. it's It just seems overdone, especially if I had put the, all the stickers on it. It's just too much, in my opinion. Some kids out there might enjoy, you know, having the Spider-Man logo on the, on, the, on the big Monster Truck. I just, I think it's too much, honestly. Um... Yeah, so I I still think it's a good set. The playability of the monster truck is very nice. I think the drone, I think all the minifigures in the set are fantastic. So that alone is the reason to spend the $40. So if you're interested in any of these minifigures, um, except for, of course, Spider-Man, because you can get them in these sets and then spend less. But if you're interested in Doc Ock, Gwen, or Mysterio, then monster truck, definitely the way to go. So in the end, if I had to choose some sets that are like, my favorites, it would be the Thor mech armor and the Ghost Rider set, and then maybe also the Miles Morales set. And then if you get all of those sets, you're going to only spend $40, which is not much money. So very good value wave, I have to say. You're not going to spend too much money on trying to get all these sets, which is great. Can't say the same about LEGO Star Wars, but regardless, I still think these are all great sets. They all have good value going towards them. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Which set do you feel like is the best value? What are you going to be picking up? And also, what do you think of doing a review like this, comparing all the sets from the wave? I actually feel like it really works considering the mech armor sets. I do also have to note... One thing about the mech armors is I have been seeing Costco, which is a wholesaler club membership place in the United States. For those of you internationally, you might not heard of uh, Costco, but I do see these mech armors in Costco. They come in a bundled pack for, I want to say like $25, which is, you know, if you buy the three individually, it's going to be 30. So you can save $5 by actually buying all three. And honestly, if you get the chance and I almost guarantee you, there's not, I don't have any confirmation right now that they, there is going to be a bundle, but I can very much see a bundle for these mech armors. So if that does exist, I would actually just go ahead and pick up that, spend the extra $5, and then you get the Captain America, which I think is really cool. Having all three is really nice. They did that with the previous wave of mech armor, so I think that would be the route if they end up doing that as well. So yeah, I do want to thank LEGO for providing these sets for review. I hope you know this was a helpful, full-depth review of all the sets and comparing them and letting you guys know what, what is probably the best value. I hope this was very helpful. Let me, do, let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.